Hi, I'm Streaky, this is Shay, and this is Metropolis Mastering. Today we're talking furniture. So, um, if I'm not very lively today, it's because I'm, uh, I'm not taking sugar at the moment, so I'm a bit irritable, um, and things aren't, don't seem to be working for me, so... Um, might get a bit aggro <laughs> but, so what we've decided to talk about today is furniture something exciting like that so you might think you might not learn anything about furniture but I actually thought the same until I had a desk in my mastering room at another place and this desk was really wide the room's quite small and it had a very long flat surface on it um, and it had sort of three bays very flat and then that was swapped out for a um, sterling modular desk, which was still three bays, mm -hmm. but just the way it was shaped, because it was lower and stuff, suddenly it made the speakers sound, the whole room sounded so much better. underneath. Yeah, yeah, there was just sort of, I don't know, it just obviously was, wasn't taking up as much room, wasn't getting as much splash off the desk. Mm -hmm. As I, as I would from the other one, because it was like flat, mm -hmm. and maybe that was like changing the room shape, I don't know. There's something about those desks that actually do sound good. Yeah. No sponsorship involved, <laughs> although if Sterling Modular would like to sponsor, then I'm more than happy um, for cash. But it was really good. Mm -hmm. It was amazing, the difference it made. Mm. And I think that these desks are, you know, these desks are pretty good as well. You know, there's a lot of kit that goes into them. Yeah. A lot of stuff around the back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they make the room sound good. And I've got pods either side um, that I can yeah, basically yeah. wheel in. I don't know, you probably even can't see, see that. But there's pods either side with extra kit in which are handy because they can be moved around so I can get extra stuff in. There's no way they're going to see that down there. But oh, you right. may have seen it on my, um, when I've shown you the video of, of the room, uh, earlier video. But that's sort of how I've sort of found, found furniture. Now, I'd also say um, the other thoughts I have on it is if you're in a home studio, I've talked before about having symmetry everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, like, try and get your desk maybe either you know under sort of so the speakers are either on top of the desk kind of thing mm -hmm. or and then if you've got a bed stick it behind you because you could use that as a like base trap if you've got um furniture that works in that way like not even a bed but a sofa bookshelf sofa don't get a leather sofa get a cloth, a or cloth sofa. Yeah, sofa. Yeah, i know it's a bit sofa. dirty and you can't wipe it down but it'll work Fake as a suede. base Bit of, oh, bit of swag. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so that would that would work. Um, and also, um, yeah, like diffusers. So if you've got records, you could put like records either side, mm -hmm. and then they'll if you move them about a bit, sort of in and out, make yeah. those as like sort of diffusers. That would work. So using furniture to a benefit yeah. in your in your small studio because that's just going to throw the sound around, which is going to help. Yeah. You could have that at the back of the room as well, which would work pretty well. And if you're, it's where you are in the room as well, isn't it? If you're in, if you've got a fairly big room, like if this equipment was in the corner, yeah, yeah, you're not. You need to be in like a good position within the room. Well, you need central to, uh, to the room. You need. We're well, not central, but you need to be a th in. Think of the room in thirds. So you yeah. either need to be in the the second third or the third yeah. third. First I just mean in, in terms of the width of the room. Yeah, like right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over, no, like, no, oh, I see what you mean, because you're in the, the corner, yeah, yeah not so the when you're as in yeah. back to front, left to right, you mean. Yeah, and things like in the bed, yeah. if you're in a bedroom, making sure that you are further back and all the furniture that you do have is kind of off the wall, rather yeah. than having the speakers on the wall and everything on the wall in the corner. Yeah, yeah, have a little bit, test it out with a bit of space in between. Mm -hmm. I mean, studio furniture, when it comes to stands... You know, we've gone before about getting some kind of separation on your stands, either using these or, in fact, these speakers, you can see I've got the china cones on the bottom as well from when I used to use those. So that just anything to separate your small speakers from the ground to make them sound better. It and does, It and doesn't have to cost a fortune either to do... No, you can buy you can buy some great stands and fill them with sand. Yeah, like silver sand, obviously not builder's sand because there's a different frequency. Room. But I mean, even down to like <laughs> polystyrene blocks. Yeah, like, um, having something that's a bit like say furniture doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. The desk at my own place I built. Well, you myself. can yeah, you can build your own furniture. Yeah, for, yeah. for your uh, sort of small project studio. Mm -hmm. As long as it's like I think, you know, 
I think sort of flooring and stuff like that's important. And it's also, I would say, one of the main things that I've found is making sure that the place is as professional as possible. So that even if you're in a pro studio like this, I'm forever tidying up mm -hmm. and making sure everything's neat and tidy, neat space, neat head, although it is a little bit, met, there's always things hanging around. <laughs> Off shot. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> it's kind of keeping your space neat and tidy yeah. and keeping things in the right places yeah. because that helps you work faster mm -hmm. um, rather than being in one of those messy, horrible studios. I mean, how many times have you written in studios where it's got ganky ashtrays yeah. and like horribleness it's about basically in it's a just studio, not a good working environment yeah, in a studio the only furniture that needs to be in there is furniture that is going to aid the sound or not get in the way of the sound so yeah things like unnecessary plants and rubbish like that yeah, i've been saying yeah. that i've got an unnecessary fake plant but it's dodgy lather lamps like, yeah See, for like me that's all big clocks and for stuff me like, that's all a no-go just yeah. purely from uh snob factor <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know do what you want but you know um i don't know what benefit a lather lamp is i no. don't know if it's bringing any karma to the it's, music it's, well, is it helping know. things no. so i just spat on you i think it's all right, don't we? it's the lack of sugar yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yes yeah, as far as furniture i only have what you need so a good desk that's situated properly yeah and the things that like i say you don't have to spend a lot of money on just separation from speakers, but then don't have like your speaker separated, but then bang against the wall in the corner of a room yeah. and one slightly off axis or one slightly lower than the other one. Like I see a lot of bedroom studios where they've got one speaker ear level, another one like on a bookcase up here somewhere. Yeah, I, like, hope our, I hope our crowd are a little bit more well, uh, upmarket. Yeah, well, if not, now <laughs> move them. Yeah, move <laughs> yeah. it down, move them down. Yeah. If you're not, then, you know, come on. Yeah, just move it down the... the Eat basics like, yeah the same sort of width between each other where you are to it and the furniture that surrounds it just make sure it, it's it's there as it needs to be there well it's helping things out and mm. it's not just there empty and a waste of time mm. um you know also i would think about window position where that mm -hmm. is you know sometimes you're better off putting the stuff in front of the window looking out of the window yeah. rather than having a big pane of glass behind your head where it's all coming where all the sounds getting mm. reflected and bounced off you even that old one um uh like one slot that you had for a while the long yeah one that, was, slot, cool, that yeah. was really good because that was, that, cool. that, that was everything um x19 uh you 19 can probably inch. see it on an old video i used to yeah. have just a, a long desk where it was just but what that did i didn't know it, it was also cut away at the bottoms which mm. was quite cool so it sort of just made more space in the room of course and that the speakers coming out the, it let was... the speakers do this thing yeah. rather than get you know because they were floor standing speakers i used to have bmws and so that the bass would be hitting the well not the bass but the mids and everything would mm. be hitting the the sides of the desk otherwise so you know that works well so that's yeah. kind of and i mean it was that. long wasn't it it was like it was fairly long yeah, yeah. but instead of having sort of two but that length is not a problem when it's not getting in the way no and i'm fairly long yeah <laughs> so, so it kind of works yeah. well but no that was quite good because again you had so much space either side and the speakers could come through and it was taking up as little amount of space with yeah the yeah because i think you shouldn't have anything in your room ideally i would be bobcat styly sitting on a rug with two speakers and a, yeah. and a thing, but practicality is part of putting a room together. So, mm. you know, I've had rooms before where I went through a period when I worked at Battery years ago where I took an axe to the furniture, <laughs> literally at night, and uh, nearly got sacked the next day because yeah. the desk was pissing me off so much yeah. that I had to just rip it apart. Really? And I then put a little rack in the middle where I had my legs round it yeah. so that I could tune like that yeah. with speakers on stands. They thought I'd gone mental. But, but it sounded great. It sounded much better. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, but yeah, but they weren't yeah. happy, <laughs> yeah. yeah, as you can imagine. But that's you know that's a good point. If you've got just try and get rid of everything mm. and just try and have just what you need in front of you in an acoustic space good. like this. Yeah, 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 a nice. Um, well, just symmetry, but like nothing. So because well, for mastering, I think if you can, if it, the listening room could be like sitting listening to the best home hi-fi you could possibly get yeah that would be my ideal yeah because i could just enjoy it and just listen to it but practicality wise and work wise i couch. find it i find it quicker to work here yeah. Yeah. than i ever did years ago at battery where i was you know in my little room yeah. that i'd made in that with that vibe 
because it's right. I need to do stuff quickly. I need I need somewhere for the clients to sit. I need somewhere so that I can mm -hmm. just get on with stuff. You yeah. know. So yeah, it it depends on what you're doing and and the situation. So I think that kind of covers it. Um, have you got anything else that you uh, wanted no, to add? No, that's pretty much it. So keep it minimal. Make sure that the equipment is in nicely stacked gear so that it's quick and easy to work with. Make sure you clear out everything that's not needed. Yeah, make, it only has to be there and if, if it's necessity. And if it's got to be there, why not try and make it work with the room mm -hmm. like a sofa or a you know something so that it actually does a job. Mm -hmm. If you need records in there, make them a diffuser. Perfect. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We need subscribers, so please make sure you subscribe wherever that is over there, I think now. And um, please give us any comments or questions that you've got. Thanks for watching. Bye.